On November 27, 2024, the French Ministry of Defense, MOD, announced the successful arrival of the Tourville, the third nuclear attack submarine of the Suffren class, at its home port in Toulon. This marks a significant step in the modernization of France's naval forces under the ambitious Barracuda program. The Tourville's arrival not only represents the culmination of extensive sea trials but also signals the ongoing verification of military capabilities (VCM) process, ensuring the submarine's technical reliability, safety, and operational effectiveness. After its first dive off Cherbourg in July 2024, the Tourville underwent a series of rigorous sea trials. These were conducted by both the French Navy and industrial partners, testing the submarine's performance in a variety of conditions. The trials included static immersions, surface maneuverability, and deep dives, all aimed at verifying the submarine's nuclear propulsion system, combat capabilities, and communication systems. The completion of these trials confirmed that the Tourville met the French Navy's stringent safety and operational standards, laying the groundwork for its full integration into the fleet. The Tourville will now enter a phase of long-term operational deployment, designed to further assess its capabilities within a naval force. This will lead to its formal entry into active service in 2025. Toulon, as its permanent home port, will play a vital role in supporting the submarine's integration into the Escadrille de Sous-Marins Nucléaires d'Attack (ESNA), the French Navy's fleet of nuclear-powered attack submarines. The Tourville's arrival marks an important milestone in the broader context of the Barracuda program, which aims to modernize France's fleet of nuclear attack submarines. Launched in the early 2000s, the program seeks to replace the aging Rubis-class submarines with more advanced, stealthier, and more capable Suffren-class, also known as Barracuda-class submarines. Construction of the lead submarine Suffren began in 2007. It was launched in 2019, commissioned in 2020, and entered active service in 2022. Following this, submarines such as duguay truin and now Tourville have followed a similar timeline, with plans to deliver a total of six Suffren-class submarines by 2030. This transition to a full Suffren-class fleet represents a pivotal upgrade for the French Navy, bringing it into line with modern maritime defense needs. The Suffren-class submarines offer cutting-edge technology and improved operational capabilities. They are designed with reduced noise levels for enhanced stealth and are equipped with advanced sonar systems for superior detection of threats. The Suffren-class also boasts impressive armament, including MDCN cruise missiles for long-range land strikes, torpedoes, and Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missiles. These submarines can also support special operations, with provisions for up to 15 commandos and removable dry deck shelters for deploying swimmer delivery vehicles (SDVs). In addition to strengthening the French Navy, the Barracuda program has also made waves internationally. In 2024, the Netherlands signed a major contract to procure four diesel-electric Barracuda-class submarines as part of their naval modernization efforts replacing the aging Walrus-class fleet. However, the program's export ambitions have faced challenges, particularly the cancellation of Australia's contract for conventionally powered Barracuda submarines in favor of nuclear-powered options through the AUKUS Partnership, a trilateral security pact between the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia. The Tourville's arrival at Toulon and the continued success of the Barracuda program underscore France's commitment to maintaining a strong and capable naval force. With its advanced technology and growing international partnerships, the Suffren-class submarines are set to play a central role in France's maritime defense for decades to come. As the French Navy works toward an all-Suffren fleet, the Tourville's operational deployment will mark a crucial phase in the evolution of France's naval strategy, ensuring that the country remains at the forefront of naval defense technology and operational readiness. This milestone not only strengthens France's naval capabilities, but also reaffirms its position as a leader in the development of cutting-edge military technology. The ongoing modernization of the French fleet will continue to play a pivotal role in maintaining the nation's strategic defense posture, both at home and in its international engagements.